The doors for the San Angelo YMCA behind me were finally cleared to open May the 18th. However, four days later, hail damage to the roof caused water to pour into the facility, forcing them to close again. But don't expect that to keep them down long, as they are already moving forward. No part of the building went untouched. And so you just started, as, a, as our staff started to find out about it, they just started showing up. And so we've been here at the Y since Thursday night um, cleaning up. Associate Executive Director Angel Flores was on site this past weekend trying to clear the debris. However, with each rain that came the next few days, the same mess was made again and again. YMCA had finally opened up their health facilities after being closed for two months. While the building may have been closed, the staff was busy helping the community any way they could. So we teamed up uh, with Shannon Medical Center and First Baptist Church, and we were able to operate free child care to uh, essential workers in the community. Flores says that fortunately none of their equipment was damaged and it is safe to enter the building. They may have to close in the future as they repair the roof, but they are open now for as long as they can. As the members come in, they're going to notice some ceiling tiles gone and maybe a weird smell, <laughs> but, um, but they'll still be able to come in and work out. And so it, that's been our goal. The YMCA is still going to hold their summer day camp at other facilities around town for social distancing purposes. They have planned to have a few elite athletic sports programs such as tennis, each carefully selected with safety in mind. And we just try to find things that we knew we could distance the kids um, lower the capacity, you know, of the number of the kids that are in the program, and then we could, um, we can spread them apart. It, the instructors don't have to get close to them. And so it's all a work in progress. The gym and pool is open, but the locker rooms and childcare is currently unavailable. Now, if you are a member planning on coming to the Y, they say expect to be screened before entering the building, and that masks and gloves are required. For Fox West Texas, I'm Sydney Timmer.